Hi guys, it's Jen, um, and I think I mentioned maybe in another video before this that I was thinking about um, starting a project life because, well, I'm a follower. No, um, I just, everybody's been doing it and that's, you know, really neat and sometimes that's a good reason to join things and sometimes it's not, but in this case, it really kind of inspired me because after my trip and my big book that I made of Dublin, I haven't really scrapbooked a whole lot. I've been making cards and stuff and I really, I don't know, I don't always have time to sit down and do a 12 by 12 but what I really liked about Project Life is that you're getting pictures in, you're getting to be crafty, you're getting to use, you know, your supplies and everything, but you don't have to do it all at once and it doesn't have to be that in depth. Plus, it just looked really fun. So I ordered the box of 60 page protectors, um, the Becky Higgins, you know, Project Life ones, and I got those, and that was great. They're super fun. Um, and I or also ordered the 6x12 ones um, because I like that option. And I saw somebody the other day, uh, Sunshine Fire, I think is her name. I'm, I can't, I can't remember it. Um, but she actually printed out some pictures that were 6x12 and they were awesome in the middle of her album so I really want to try that at some point. Um, but for now all I've done is my beginning page, you know, kind of my like, hey I'm doing Project Life page. Um, so really quick before I show you more of the page, I mean I know you can see it, but before I show you some of the details I want to show you a few other things that I've done um, sort of in preparation for Project Life. And I posted um, on Instagram the other day a picture of my printer because I printed out all of these different inserts. Um, these are all free, I believe. Um, I maybe paid for one set, but like here's an as seen on Facebook, um, you know, today. They're all just different cards to use for Project Life. There's a lot of different ones. Um, you know, I don't want to forget. This day will never happen again. Just a bunch of little, you know, cute things that I could have on hand so that when I sat down to do them, you know, to do a spread, I could just grab stuff and put it in there. Um, the other thing that I did was a bunch of two different deal sites, I think. I think one was my craft channel and one might have been PG Cheap, maybe. Um, had some good deals on some 6x6 paper pads, so I got the Lost and Found 2 in Blush, Lost and Found 2 in Breeze, Lost and Found 2 in Rosy. Um, I think I got all of those for like $10. Sorry, I just didn't hit the camera. And I also got the Miss Caroline, the Howdy Doody, dolled up. Um, that's Howdy Doody, dolled up, Fiddlesticks, and Dilly Dally. And I'm not going to go through those because I know we've all seen them a million times. I will stop and say that this Howdy Doody one, I need to order the papers in... 12 by 12 because I loved practically every paper in there and the same really with the dolled up oh, my cats are fighting over a plastic bag sorry um I really like the papers in there too so I got those because I think six by six is going to be the way to go for papers for this I'm also going to try and use up a whole bunch of my scraps so I'm excited about that um so hey cat get out the bag <laughs> I wish I could show you what he's doing right now he's literally in a bag crawling across the floor. Um, so I'll just talk over him. All right. So I used um, a sheet of, huh, am I gonna be able to find it now? Probably not, right? That's the way it works. Yeah, I am. Okay, so for the background of each of these, um, because one of the things about the printouts that I did is that even though they said they were three by four, they're not really, and that's what size the openings are. So I used one, 12 by 12 sheet for this page just so that it would have some consistency since it was kind of the introduction page. And I used a sheet from Echo Park um, Summer Days designed by Bella Road and it was the clouds sheet. And I actually went um, probably a couple months ago and ordered like six extra sheets of that because I just love it. Um, so I used that. I also used um, one of the badges from the Pink Paisley old school collection, the metal badges that they have. These are the rest of them. I used, oh, I love these. These came um, in the Studio Calico kit, I think this month. They're designed by Sassafras and they're these awesome butterfly stickers and 
I wish that I could get about 20 more sheets of them, especially the wood grain ones, because I love them. Um, and I just love the colors in it too. Like I love the teal color. A lot of these colors look really good with the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan papers. So I use that. And the other thing that I've been hoarding that I finally used was um, another Studio Calico thing. It was their Chipboard Alpha. And I don't think it has a name. It doesn't. Um, it just kind of has like newsprint on this and they're a nice thick chipboard with rounded edges and I love them but there's not a lot of each letter so I finally broke into those. Um, I think that's kind of it for what I really use. The rest are all printouts. Um, I did use some of the rubber thickers. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So that's the main page real quick. Um, this was just a printout and I think this might actually be from the official Becky Higgins like printable ones and I added washi tape, um, the Target washi tape. I cut it into thinner strips on the top of that. This was a picture that I had um, played around with on my iPod and made black and white and added the heart. And I thought it was important to have us in the front because, you know, that's who this is going to be about. This is another one of the Becky Higgins printables. And I added some of those awesome butterflies and some washi tape. And in the bottom half, I have this printable and there's that pink paisley um, badge and I put it on the outside. Um, another printable. Here's where I used those awesome alphas. I put a doily on part of it just to add that. Um, and the only thing that I don't have on here really is chevrons. Other than that I have a little bit of everything that's sort of in vogue at the beginning of this project. Um, Be in love with your life, every detail of it by Jack Kerouac because I really think that's part of Project Life is the details, like noticing things you wouldn't. Um, this is from a set of printables. It just said, so grateful. I added little tags to it and I wrote, so grateful to have a life worth documenting. Our life is filled with our fur babies, good friends, and interesting families. Um, cause that's mostly what you'll see in here. And this is just another Becky Higgins printable. So that's, as far as I've gotten, I've just done, you know, the front page. I have sort of planned out my pictures. I'm going to start with the first week in April. I thought about going back and starting in January, but it just... It was a little bit overwhelming and I lost my grandfather in January and that was a really um, tough time and so it isn't really what I want to start on out on because I feel like I would just get so weighed down by that that I would probably leave the project and not do it. Um, so I'm going to start with like last week and that has some good and some bad in it and that's okay I'm going to document both but um, this is where I'm starting so hopefully I can get more done this week. Um, I'm going to be on vacation next week and I'm going to try and bring it with me but I also know that I'll be able to take a whole bunch of awesome pictures that week so that will make for a really good week for Project Life. So I've loved seeing what all of you have done so I thought I would just show what I've done because we've all um, sort of done something different and that's that. Thanks for watching and thanks for posting your Project Life stuff because it's given me some really great ideas so I hope that as the year goes on we all keep sharing what we've done because it's really inspirational. So have a great night. Bye.